Shabuya, sha, sha, shabuya, bro. Call my name is Twains. Yeah, and I love llamas. Yeah, and what is today? Ask Twains. Yes, today is a very, very special version of Ask Twains, where I answer very sexual and loving and Valentine's Day related questions because Valentine's Day is like. Tomorrow, I think. So I told all of you guys to go on my Twitter and use the hashtag AskTwains. And you guys gave me a bunch of really creepy questions. And I'm going to answer them right now. Let's go be at Infinity Lou. Top or bottom? Neither? Except Evan Peters. I think we all know what that answer is. <laughs> At Bo's Rat, how are you gonna spend your Valentine's Day? Um, doing this? Breathing? What I don't understand is how out of the 365 days of the year, why do we only value one day as the day to like love? Whoever created this shit, you a dumbass bitch. Like, we should be spending 365 days loving ourselves and not having to love others like we're forced to love people. Swerve, motherfucker. At kid underscore lolly, are you a virgin? Who in the world would want to do this with someone who just talks to the camera by themselves in a fucking white room? But yes, I am a virgin. I'm clean. At basic x Galinsky, do you like it hot or wet? The word wet to me just sounds disgusting. Like wet. Whenever I think of wet, I think of like moist and like drippy. I like it hot and fresh. Like some buffalo chicken wings. Yum yum. At Holy Espinoza, who's your sugar daddy for Valentine's Day? I don't really know if you guys know what a sugar daddy is, but a sugar daddy is someone who uh, tends to be of the older age and just happens to buy you shitloads of shit for free. For free. <laughs> Should've said a negative. All right. At Thug Brian, do you think Zayn Malik is hot? Well, if I didn't say Zayn Malik was hot, I'm like 99% sure that the whole One Direction fandom would murder me and sacrifice my body to like goats or some shit. <laughs> At Stupids, Zayn Malik is like porn. True. <laughs> At Gio Livoy, are you going to watch Fifty Shades of Grey? No. Why would I go watch Fifty Shades of Grey for twelve fifty when I can stay at home and watch free porn? Zay Malik. At Cocking Caniff, did you get your pants on sale? Cause in my house they're a hundred percent off. Girl, goodbye. At Gonzalez Esley, do you read smut? What? What is smut? Oh, I'm gonna have to look this up now. Smut, a writing style that is sexually explicit and generally associated with females. So pretty much a free version of Fifty Shades of Grey written by 12 year olds. Oh. At Orgasmic Collins, play a song that describes you when your eyebrows aren't on point. See, I would do that, but my eyebrows are on point 24 seven, so. Oops, I did it again. I played with your heart, but I lost it again. Oh baby, baby, oh, you think I'm in love. At Holly7 underscore 12, when was your first kiss? Um, never. Yeah, this is kind of embarrassing, but I've never had my first kiss. Cue in the like embarrassment. But what I do know is you do not need a first kiss to like be socially accepted and into the world full of just really over sexual people. At Prado Katie, if you could, would you be a porn star? I've actually thought about this before, but um, if I really didn't have any other career available for me, you know, I mean, it's kind of right there. Like, you kind of fuck people and make money. Sounds okay to me. As long as it's Seven Peters or Saint Malik. At Basic Jax, can you do a handstand? No. At That Was Me Liam, why don't you have a girlfriend? Maybe I have a boyfriend. And a girlfriend. Or neither. Yeah, I have neither. Single and ready to never mingle and just look at hot people on the internet. At Dinosaurs Phil, how many relationships have you been in? At 
Kelly Maroney 14. Explain how babies are made in a rap. Impromptu rap session. I have a mom and a dad. They had sex. And then they did stuff that allowed me to be formed in the mother's tummy. And then after nine months, the baby grew in the stomach of my mother. Hi mom. And then she went to the hospital and screamed, ha ha shit. And then she opened her legs like this. And I came out and looked like a bad bitch. What? At Mobley X, who would you rather have as your valentine? Jack Alinsky or a llama? Oh shit. Oh no. You can't do this to me. You are evil. You're a devil. Like that devil. I would have to choose. Jack Alinsky riding on a llama. And last but not least, at Sashtag underscore, are you having merch? I have been waiting for someone to ask this question because as of today, I have merch! I am so, 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 so excited for you guys to finally see my merch. I have four items available today, online, right now, limited, and here they are. Bam, bam, bam. And bam! Yes, so I have four shirts online available right now at twames.spreadshirt.com. I'll put the link in the bio if you guys really want some cool and amazing new shirts because I love you guys so much and I knew you would love them and I love them. And do not even go because guys, I have a contest. All you guys have to do is tweet me a picture of you wearing any of these four shirts and you will be entered into a contest in which you can win a free exclusive merch item that is like nowhere on the internet and it will be signed with a cute little letter from me um, talking about how much I love you and it will be personalized because I'll like stalk you and like find who you are and kill you. No, I'm kidding, I love you. <laughs> and before I forget, I will be selling this shirt at Digitor at every single city. So if you guys want to take cute ass pictures with me, like with you in the shirt and like us dancing to the llama song, girl, I'm down. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I really hope you guys love the shirts and I will see you later, my fellow bad bitches. Stay bad. Happy llama, sad llama, mentally disturbed llama, super llama, drama llama, big fat mama llama, llama llama llama. Who is this big llama? Starting all this drama. It's me, bitch. Happy llama, sad.